WTC Machinery, a global leader in designing and building machinery and tooling for heavy equipment repair facilities, is pleased to provide you with this video. This video covers installing, using, and maintaining the WTC Machinery EL10000 torque wrench. The EL10000 all-electric torque wrench removes and installs the bolts holding the track pads, also called track shoes or grouser pads, to the bulldozer track chain. Mounted on a rolling carriage, the wrench easily moves along the entire length of the track on a set of wrench rails in conjunction with the track press pad change line conveyor system, allowing access to all of the shoe bolts. The EL10000 all-electric torque wrench can also be ordered with a freestanding conveyor system to exchange track shoes from an old track to a new rail. The EL10000 is an inherently safe machine to operate, but there are some things to consider before running the machine. Never place fingers near the bolt end. The downforce on the socket can crush a finger. There is a pinch point between the square socket drive and stationary spindle tube. There is a pinch point at the base of the carriage plate where the spindle lift arms extend below the upper machine guard. The EL10000 is capable of very high torque and can potentially rotate short or light portions of track sitting on the conveyor. The conveyor system is designed with a stop edge to prevent this occurrence. However, the operator should be aware of this possibility. Altering any part of the EL10000 all-electric torque wrench or its components or using the torque wrench in a manner other than intended is at the operator's own risk. Such alterations or uses will void the warranty. The EL10000 torque wrench runs along the top and outer edge of the conveyor system on a set of rails designed specifically for this machine. Before mounting the torque wrench, check the outside channels of the conveyor system, or wrench rails. They should be sturdy and securely attached to their support stands. Weld unsteady channels to their support stands. Grind down any uneven joints between separate channels to provide smooth rolling for the EL10000 carriage wheels. Raise the torque wrench with a crane or other lifting device and strap rated for 2,500 pounds or 1,140 kilograms. Place the lifting strap through the supplied eye bolts attached to the carriage frame. Do not lift the torque wrench from the lift cylinder as this will damage the lift cylinder. Guide the wrench to a place above the conveyor system's outer rails. Measure the distance between the inside flanges on the wrench carriage wheels. Compare this with the width of the conveyor system's outer rails. Loosen the wheel clamps and adjust the carriage wheels in or out to match the width of the conveyor system's outer rails. Tighten the wheel clamps when done. Adjust the carriage wheels if needed and adjust the four carriage outriggers so they touch the faces of the wrench carriage rails. Move the torque wrench along the conveyor system, readjusting the outriggers to allow the torque wrench to move freely along the conveyor system. Carefully move the wrench along the length of the conveyor system. Remove any obstructions that prevent the wrench from traveling freely. Connect the three-phase electrical supply to the disconnect switch following all national and local electrical codes. The EL10000 all-electric torque wrench requires 460 volt three-phase power. If the primary power in the building where the EL10000 will be installed is not 460 volt three-phase, contact WTC Machinery LLC for transformer price and availability. The primary power for the EL10000 needs to be a WYE connection with the star point connected to earth ground. This is extremely important. If the primary power connected to the EL10000 is a delta connection, it is likely there will be a phase imbalance at some time which will likely damage the servo motor control and will void the machine warranty. Electrical installation note. Make certain all metal chips that fall into the electrical control cabinet when installing primary electrical power are removed before commissioning. A compact hydraulic power unit is provided for creating maximum downforce and resistance to socket lift during worn bolt removal. This unit raises and lowers the socket using the raise and lower buttons on the operator's pistol grip. The unit comes with oil in the one and a half gallon reservoir, but care must be taken that the direction of rotation of the hydraulic unit electric motor is correct. 
There is a small arrow on the top bell housing of the power unit motor that indicates proper direction of rotation. When first starting the EL10000, have an observer watch the motor rotation direction as the unit is jogged by an operator at the operator's control console. Do not run continuously until proper direction of rotation has been confirmed. If the direction of rotation is incorrect, two three-phase power leads on the motor starter must be reversed. Make certain that primary power has been removed from the machine before attempting this action. Once the motor is turning in the direction of the motor arrow, the unit is ready for continuous operation. The operator controls for the EL10000 are conveniently located on a cantilevered mount that can be operated from either side of the track press pad change line conveyor system, making the EL10000 ambidextrous. A brief description of the machine controls is as follows. The joystick control is an ergonomic control device that allows the operator one-hand control of the torque wrench functions. Tighten bolt, loosen bolt, start-stop trigger, socket lift push button, socket lower push button, pass cycle green LED indicator light indicates the tighten sequence has been successfully completed. The final bolt torque will be shown on the panel display. Error, red LED indicator light, indicates the torque wrench has failed to shift gear ranges. To correct, release the pistol grip trigger and begin the cycle again. Note, this error light does not indicate an unsuitable torque value. The control panel display and keypad provide the following information control for the operator. System mode setting, standard or high torque mode. Bolt turn angle setting, if any. Bolt torque set value the final or pre-torque torque achieved. Bolt turn angle, units format, English or metric. Machine operating mode, standard or high torque. The primary start and stop push buttons are located on the operator's control box. The start button is the green illuminated push button and the red push button is the stop button. The stop button functions as an emergency stop. Once it is depressed, it maintains in the off position and it must be reset with a slight twist. To set the desired bolt torque, the operator must first press the zero key on the panel keypad. The torque set line on the display will begin to flash indicating it is ready to accept data input. The operator then must press the numeric keys that correspond to the desired pre-torque. In the case of a torque turn sequence or the final torque for the bolt. As keys are pressed, the value will be displayed on the operator's panel. When the numbers displayed equal the desired bolt torque, pressing the red enter key located in the lower right corner of the keypad will enter the value into the EL10000. At this time, the value will show a steady state rather than the flashing condition during data entry. The torque set value will be the final torque to which the bolt will be tightened if no turns is displayed on the panel. If the operator presses one of the angle buttons, the torque set value will be the pre-torque setting for a torque turn sequence. Other keys on the panel are standard mode, high torque mode, inch, metric. Each of these buttons, when pressed, set the machine in an operating mode that corresponds to the button label. The operator's display indicates clearly the operating mode in which the wrench is set. In the case of the inch and metric buttons, the unit of torque measurement can be changed from inch English units to metric units by simply pressing the button labeled metric. To select English units, simply press the inch button. The EL10000 can be placed in one of two operating modes for installing bolts, standard or high torque. The appropriate operating mode is determined by the method of bolt installation or removal preferred by the wrench operator or that may be dictated by the condition of the bolt being removed or installed. The EL10000 all-electric torque wrench gives the operator unprecedented flexibility that allows him to select the most efficient approach to accomplish the job at hand. In the standard mode, the EL10000 begins the tighten sequence in a low-torque, high-speed configuration. If the nut has been started but not snugged, a number of bolt turns may be needed to take up the slack. Once the nut makes contact with the track link and the torque begins to rise, the EL10000 senses the rising torque and automatically switches to the proper operating configuration 
to tighten the bolt to the torque value set by the operator. An alternate approach to installing new bolts in a crawler track is to perform the snugging operation with a handheld pneumatic impact wrench, leaving the final torque to the EL10000. This can be accomplished by pressing the torque mode button, which locks the wrench in the high torque mode, bypassing the rundown bolt snugging sequence and going directly to the final set torque or pre-torque if a torque turn sequence is specified. When removing track bolts, the standard sequence of operation places the EL10000 in the high torque mode to break the bolt loose. Once the bolt is loose, the EL10000 automatically switches to the low torque, high speed mode to spin off the nut. In a case where an old bolt has damaged threads that require greater than 250 foot-pounds of torque to remove, pressing the torque mode button will cause the EL10000 to lock into high torque mode to remove the most stubborn bolts to the point where if the thread seizes completely, the bolt will break. The EL10000 track bolt torque wrench has an optional feature which allows the bolt torque data for any given job to be captured and reported to a data file that can be opened and saved in an Excel spreadsheet. This data can be used for verification of final bolt torque and or final torque and achieved after torque angle. A laptop computer is shipped with each EL10000. If the data collection option is purchased, the program software is installed on this laptop. The computer is simply mounted on a shelf that is part of the machine framework and is held in place with Velcro restraining straps. A power data port is conveniently located in the side of the control panel. A standard, supplied USB printer cable is connected between the computer and data port. The data collection software is launched, a recording session started, and the operator goes about tightening track bolts as he would on any other job. When the last bolt is tightened, the recording session is stopped and at that point the data is saved to a user-defined file name on the laptop hard drive or USB thumb drive. If a torque sequence fails, the operator simply loosens and retorques the bolt. This torque value will be recorded as with all other bolts. Contact your WTC Machinery sales representative for more information. The EL10000 torque wrench requires very little maintenance. There are a few points that require periodic grease and the two drive gearboxes should have the gear lubricant changed after the first 50 hours and annually thereafter. See the operator's manual for specific lubricant specification requirements. Please see the EL10000 operator's manual for a complete troubleshooting guide. Action!